You know, the dictionary defines the word attraction as something interesting or enjoyable that people want to see, visit, or do. I call that Michigan. I'm Tom Dalton from the Emmy Award-winning PBS television program, Under the Radar Michigan, and uh, I think you'll find this attraction pretty darn attractive. Well, if this part of Michigan is the cherry capital of the world, here's the Republic. Cherry Republic is a cottage industry here in Glen Arbor that reinvents the cherry every single day. They do everything you can think of with cherries, and even some things you haven't thought of yet. If it has anything to do with cherries, Bob Sutherland is probably already working on it. I'm getting the impression, Bob, that this, this place is like all things cherry. You're good you discovered it. We are 100% uh, cherry, devoted to our local fruit, uh, the Montmorency Red Tart Cherry. It's what we know, it's what we do. The tart cherry can go sweet, it can go sour, it can go savory, it can go uh, spicy. There's so much we can do with our Michigan cherry. How did you start this whole thing? I mean, it's like a little cherry oasis, but I understand the beginning was a lot more humble. Very humble. Really, actually, with a t-shirt, you know, called the Cherry Republic, and... You started like, the company with a t-shirt? Yes. Selling it around the trunk of my car, and uh, I had a neat caption to it, you know, life, liberty, beaches, and pie. And on college, I sold 3,500 of those shirts. I said, hey, I got something here. So I slowly worked in some food products, and, you know, it was more clothing, and pretty soon I had a storefront, but very humble, little 10 by 10 space. And then uh, what you see on this property here now is our fifth expansion. And now we're five, 6,000 uh, square feet, beautiful gardens, and we take about a quarter of a city block. It's like a little oasis. It's beautiful back here. People come into our town here, and you know we're right smack in the middle of Sleek Bear National Lakeshore, and they'll come in five, six years in a row before they discover our store. You know, And even though we're on a kind of a slower street off the main drag, but then they have this neat sense of discovery, like, oh my gosh, look what I just saw. And they see all the people around that have found this secret before them. And you actually employ a lot of people. You've got how many locations now? We have four locations across Michigan, and we employ uh, this summer about 150 uh, people. And then at Christmas time, we're up to 250 people. Well, you're a great Michigan success story, because here's some young guy, comes up with an idea, puts it on a t-shirt, sells it out of the trunk of his car, and you've turned it into a cottage industry that's very cool. And it's neat, uh, because I'm doing it in the town that I grew up in. Well, I was gonna ask you, what's it like living in this part of Michigan? Well, I'm the luckiest guy in the world, and I'm so fortunate to be able to raise my two kids the same way that, you know, I was raised. Not only is Bob lucky to be in Glen Arbor, but I think he gets all the free cherries he can eat, too. Hey, Bob, I know cherries are really good for you. You think if I eat enough cherries, I'll get as tall as you someday? I don't think so, Tom. Mm. Um, all right, I guess eating cherries won't make you any taller, but being a citizen of the Cherry Republic for a day can certainly make you a lot happier. And now you know where to find it.